Last one, I promise. So we're gonna talk about how to finish off your pop art portrait. Um, first things first, I'm gonna change the background color because I feel like it's too close to my hair in that one. I have since, in between the last time we saw each other, one, I went home and got some rest. Two, I have gone in and changed the colors on the copy of my face for different times. Once you do it the first time after you've posterized and etc., it's a lot easier to just select the colors. Um, just make sure they are all on different layers, as you can see. Makes it easier. So I'm going to change the color on this. I think to... Oof, I really made it tough on myself. Let's go with like a teal blue. I think that's, or green. Let's see if that's any better. Yes, yes it is. So what I need to do now, I'm gonna get rid of my guides. Or actually, maybe I wanna leave them in for a minute. I'm gonna create some borders. And I've created a new layer up in here using the new layer button. And I'm gonna use my rectangle tool just to make a nice straight, line between all these. And right now my fill is the same as my foreground color. If I switch it, it doesn't do anything. You can go up here to change them as well. And you can decide if you want a black or colored border, really up to you. I think I want a black one. And I think I want to make it thinner. But that's a nice, easy way to get a straight line segment and you can move these using the move tool and i'm going to copy this command c command v to paste and i should be able to command t for transform and rotate it yeah and because it's a square or near a square they should be roughly the same size there we go make it a little longer maybe Whoops, I moved the wrong thing. Oh, hey, those are grouped now because they're on the same layer. Now I'm going to get rid of my guides, so view, clear guides, and I've got some fixing to do. So I definitely need to transform this and move it, move it, so it looks more centered. There we go. Cool, and I could erase this little bit. I'm gonna go on to that layer. This is why I have you guys keep separate layers up until the very end. And just clean that up just a little bit. Same thing, like I don't know that I want their shoulders touching. Clean that on up. And then I would save, because I'm a good student and I keep saving so I don't lose any of my progress. I'll go up to file. Export, and you know the rest. Congrats, you just made an Andy Warhol pop art portrait of yourself.